Okay, this very short tutorial is going to show you how you can use Code Your Game Lab to program a very simple game. Now you can do this either using a keyboard and mouse, or if you have one, you can use an Xbox 360 controller. Now I'm going to use a keyboard and mouse to do this, as I'd probably be the most common uh, configuration. So I'm at the uh, home screen here, and you've got the option to either load a world which has been saved or resume where you were. So I'm going to click resume. Now I actually already have a blank world here uh, up and running, but if you didn't, so you move the mouse down to the home icon and you click New Empty World. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is create a playing field that I can play on. So I'm going to go down to the Paint, Add or Delete Terrain and uh, I can change the size of my terrain using the arrow keys uh, and I'm going to just left click and here is my playing field. Now you can see all of the options are up here in the left hand corner of the screen. Um, so. Okay, so now if I go in, into the play mode, I can move around here. If I use the scroll wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in and out. Uh, but at the moment, it's just a square. So I press escape and I'm going back into game mode. So what I'm going to do is add my character. So click on add and program objects down the bottom. And I'm going to click on the board and I'm going to add a Kodu. There he is. Okay, so there's a little fella now there. If I wanted to change the colour of him, if I click on him, then I can use the arrow keys to change colour. So I'm going to have, uh, let's have a red one there. Okay, so now if I go into play mode and click the play symbol, there he is, but actually he doesn't do anything. If I try and use the controller or the keyboard, nothing happens. So I need to teach him to respond to those devices. So if I go to uh, Add and Program Objects and I go to the Kodu, now you can see here if I right click that will give me options. So if I right click on him then I can go to Program and that will give me the programming menu. So, so here it has this option of when something happens do something. So I'm going to Click on the when plus and press A to add uh, something that happens. So when keyboard, so when the keyboard is pressed, and then I go do and move. So when the keyboard, something is pressed on the keyboard, move. So just in case somebody's using a controller, I want them to be able to use a controller as well. So I'm going to click when. Okay, so when the gamepad is used. I have to say what happens on the gamepad. So when the left stick is used on the gamepad, do move. So now if I go to play, there it is. Now if I use the arrow keys, press the forward key, goes forward. If I use the left and right keys, he turns. Okay, but that's quite a boring game, nothing's happening there. So I'm going to go back into edit mode and I'm going to put some things for him to interact with. So I'm going to go add and program objects, okay, and I'm going to drop an apple there, an apple there, an apple there, and an apple there. So now, if he moves around, nothing happens when he interacts with those apples. So we need to teach him what to do when he encounters an apple. So I'm going to right, uh, so go to the Add and Program objects, right click on him, and program. And now add settings for when he uh, interacts with an apple. So when you bump, so when you bump into the object, into an apple, then we firstly we want to score. So I go to the game option and score. Score how much? Ten points. So now into, into here. Let's have a look here. So I can see that I've got ten points. But what happened was that the apple didn't actually disappear. So as I was hovering over it. It was just adding loads of points on there. So we also want the apple to disappear. So 
So program him again. So another one. When you bump into an apple, then do what? I'm going to go to the combat option here and vanish. Vanish what? Vanish it. So when you bump into an apple, then vanish it. Okay, so we're getting there now. There you go, we scored 10 points. We can see those in the top right hand corner. And my apples are disappearing. Last one there. Ah, but nothing's happened now. I've got rid of all the apples. There's nothing else on the playing board, but the game hasn't ended. So, lastly, we need to tell Cody what to happen, what happens when you've eaten all the apples. So, I'm going to right click on him, program. Here's all my options. So when I see apples, but I don't want to see, I don't want it to happen when I see apples, but when I don't see apples. So if I go, when I see apple not, so when I see apples not, so when there are no apples present, do what? Game, win. Here's my game board. So one apple, two apples, three apples, oh, brilliant. That's the end of my game and I can see that I'm the winner. Uh, and now we will just go back to the home menu of press escape. I could go back in and save that further. What I could do is save this and call it my first game. Simple Apple Collection Game. And that's been saved. Now I can go back, exit to the main menu. And if I go load world and go my world, I can see that my first game is there.